But he goes in against, as they were wont to say, a most noteworthy opponent, Michael Bent, who's had 11 international bouts. Michael is 22 years of age, and he has every kind of medal and trophy you can find except an Olympic gold medal. And he wants it just as much as Ray Mercer. Ray stationed in Baumholder, West Germany, right now. And he is the 1988 U.S. Amateur Champion. Now, let me tell you what I think might happen here. Michael Bent sometimes doesn't always come out stormy. But I guarantee you, Ray Mercer's going to come out like a thunderstorm. That's his way. All he does is just come and come and come. And you have to fend him off. John Hollis is the referee. Here we go. Uh, almost a little more sedate, I think, in, in the beginning of this fight than uh, one might have expected. Because he has at times just come out on it. And he is not unwilling to throw both hands. Michael Bent obviously has much the greater experience. There is no time for coasting in these Olympic trials. That's a good left hand to the body by Michael Bennett. That's a good right hand to the body by Ray Mercer. These are heavyweights up to one, 201 pounds. Ray Mercer weighed in at 198, then six one and a half. And Michael Bent hit the weight limit on the nose, 201, and also stand six one and a half. That is a good punishing left straight left hand by Michael Bent. There are times though when he may not throw it enough, may not be busy enough. This is the first round. That's Colonel Don Ho there. He has been part of the development. He has been a stimulus of the development of the U.S. boxing program, president of AIBA. As I remember 1974, we went to the first AIBA tournament held in Havana. It was a bit rustic, but we had a good time. He's a good friend of the Prime Minister. Michael Bent now going for the combination. Mercer standing his ground, coming with a right-hand lead, and back with a combination that jarred Michael Bent. But again, you see the experience of Bent taking him away as he rolls off the rope. He's had 11 international bouts, whereas Mercer has had just six. Many stories told about Michael Bent, perhaps... Uh, a lot of them uh, pinning high expectations on him because all of them projected toward a professional career. But even at this, this point in his life, I'm not so sure. And I say that because of my talk with him yesterday that he's all that wrapped up in a pro career at this particular point. He enjoys the sport. That's a good short chopping right hand by Bent, and it shook Mercer. Coming up on a half minute to go. And of course, the biggest news, I guess, was when... Uh, uh, Michael Bent's dad won the $2 million in the New York State Lottery. It's to Ray Mercer's advantage, I think, to keep the pressure on in this heavyweight bout. All right, we go to the second round of the heavyweight bout, 201 pounds. Ray Mercer of the U.S. Army in the goal. Michael Bent in the green and white. And Mercer comes out a little quicker and a little more aggressive here in the second round because... Uh, Johnson and Alton Murchison were all over him to be a little busier. You've got to be busy if you plan on winning at this level in amateur boxing. That's a bit wild there, but he'll throw that. He is not timid about leading with that right hand. left hook by Mercer. Bent working pretty well to the body, but Michael let himself get back on the ropes, and Mercer stings him. Bent's a tough guy, though. When you pin him on the ropes and you think you got him, all you're doing is beating on his gloves and elbows, and suddenly he rolls out of there and he's gone. Mercer 
boxer calling for a low blow doesn't get the call and gets wrapped around the head as he is forced back into the corner. He looked at John Hollis, the referee, begging for the call on the low blow and left himself wide open. His good fortune is that Michael Bent didn't have a chance to plant his feet and set on him. I won't talk to a guy here between rounds and tell you about the dangers of uh, leaving yourself uncovered. Henry Tillman, who went through this. Now Mercer, angry, gets a little while as he tries to go with a combination of the head. got Michael Bent on the low blow and nails him a point. So that might prove expensive. As the left hook, another left hook by Bent. Both of them good to the jaw of Mercer, but Ray stays right in front of him and keeps him backed into the ropes and hammers away at him as we come up on a half minute to go in round two. Pretty good combination by Mercer. That one rocks Michael Bent. The right hand hurts Michael Bent. A standing eight count for Bent. But remember, that punch that caused the eight count is only one punch. But that combination that led up to the eight count was wicked. round took all kinds of dramatic swings. First there was the low blow that uh, Mercer begged on and didn't get the call in the second one and uh, that time John Hollis jumped all over Michael Bent about it and then there was a furious flurry by uh, Ray Mercer that caused the eight count. And when you're working around the belt line sometimes it's pretty easy to let that slip down. Now let's turn to Henry Tillman who's living in Diamond Bar California and of course Henry made some uh, noise when he knocked off Mike Tyson in the trials. There are times, I guess, uh, Henry, when these trials are tougher than the real thing. Yes, Q. 